Welcome back to Vampire. Let's head inside what I think is called the Asylum, a place for people in need. Or we might be able to find Sean Hampton, although I doubt it because I'm pretty sure Sean Hampton was here, everybody would be dead or screaming or something. Is that rust or blood? I think... I think that's blood. Oh yeah, that's definitely blood. Come now, Lottie. There is still much work to do. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks? <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town? You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. They're healthy. What can you tell me about this place? How are things here? It may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself? You better watch your back, Mr. Reed. <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. Is it not dangerous to work here at night? As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. What can you tell me about the sad saint? It's just the nickname of Sean Hampton, the sad saint of the East End. He gave me shelter, and he is not always sad. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Lottie made it sound like this is not the asylum. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Is this not them? Nah, it does us find Sean in the area, so I think this is the area. But yeah, how could they have possibly gotten in here without being noticed? If they're a monster? Folded paper, forgive me God for what I'm about to confess. Sometimes I wish I never saved Dyson Delaney from drowning when he fell in the canal. There, I said it. Please forgive me, Lord, for I'm just a sinner. Dyson may be the most frustrating case I ever had to deal with since I opened my night shelter in the East End. For years I've tried to understand why this man regularly makes me so irritated, and I think I recently found why. Dyson stopped fighting, for good and forever. I've met so many heavy drinkers in my life, men and women, rich and poor, young and old. I've witnessed their fight with their demons, their past, their guilt, and their failures. Sometimes I can put a name on this inner evil of theirs. Sometimes they have never been able to identify the real cause of their despair, but in most cases, for these men and women, to drink is a way to keep fighting. Of course, it is a useless and destructive form of struggle, but at least this self-destruction means there's, that something makes them suffer. And they still fight against this pain they feel so deep inside. Even a severe alcoholic like William Bishop keeps struggling with his addiction and asking for a salvation, for the light of Christ. And as long as they wish to see this light, there's a place for hope. Dyson Delaney has no hope left. He does not drink to smother his pain. No, I'm now convinced he conscientiously drinks for the sadist joy of smothering all hope. I really don't know what is a worst sin, to deliberately cast away hope from your own heart, or complacently bask in self-destruction. Is that the person... Yeah, that's Dyson Delaney, the one I'm actually doing the quest for. We need to find the uh, place where the bomb went off so they can mourn the dead. Uh, Sean? What the hell? How you doing there, Sean? You got a bloody hand.
Oh. Oh yeah, look at those eyes, huh? You are definitely not human anymore. But also, you're not a savage beast. Have they been turned into, like, a proper vampire, like me? Avoid the long face, Doctor. It looks like we both have changed a lot. I must confess, it saddens me, Sean. Put your faith in the Lord, Doctor. He has a plan for all of us. We may not always see it, but he does. Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor? Meals laid out before you? Yet you restrain? So they are a skull. Not a, a vampire like me. We've never seen a skull before with this amount of self-control. That's... amazing. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Apparently. God, they really must have an iron will. Still, I... Had, I mean... I still don't trust them, though. To remain... Controlled. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. It's true, they feed on the dead. They don't need to feed on the living, so they don't need to kill anyone. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh. No blood. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Uh, really? Don't you think that might be a trap, Jonathan? That is extremely suspicious. Also, you, they could just be using this opportunity to lead me on a wild goose chase and then they just disappear from here. I will not look kindly on you if you're trying to trick me. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I surrender myself to your judgment. Explore the sewers to discover Sean Hampton's secret. Okay. That does not seem like a good idea. Both to leave them alone or go to the sewers, but... Sure. So where is it? Ah, okay. We actually just walked by there pretty recently, I think. Or no. No, that's right. We never... We didn't continue down the beach. I started going down the beach and then I teleported up to the bridge here. And then walked along here, so I didn't actually go to this place. But yeah, we've been near it. 
Yeah, all these places are for the posters that I need to put up. But it looks like I have a choice. I can put up all the posters or I can burn them. Question is, how do I burn them? Where's Where do they get burned? I think I found something a little bit suspicious here. Do you notice anything? Anything odd? Anything strange there about that dresser, wardrobe thing? Maybe uh, kind of hiding a secret entrance behind it, rather obviously, because there's a light back there. Well, that's definitely going to come into play. God, I kind of want to... Ah, I kind of want to enter the photo mode and see what's behind there, but no, I really shouldn't. Let's explore the rest of this place. It's quite large. Handwritten prayer. Dear Lord, this is my prayer for my beloved mother, Gertrude Paxton, who now awaits her daughters in heaven. Until that day, I thank you for allowing me to wake up and go through each new day in honest poverty and modesty. Please protect the good. Uh, the good Mr. Hampton who let us sleep in his night shelter. I humbly ask you to forgive me for the resentment I feel toward my sister, Giselle, since mother died. Blessed be her soul. Thank you, God, for hearing me. Amen. Thanks for allowing me to go through honest poverty. Thanks, God. Glad to... Lottie, tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, and her complaints. That's quite a statement. You can't kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill, but I forgave Giselle. What I couldn't stand was how she cried at her funeral like she was the one left alone. Perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are. I know that, and I don't blame her. It just makes me sad that my own sister is the person I understand the least. I guess I should say the other option. Lot, G that's cool. Mother. Giselle is the only family you have left. Don't you think it's time you forgave her? Sometimes words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do all options. I feel like I should. So that, you know, this turns dark and I've completely done that uh, dialogue tree. But also at the same time, some of the options I just don't want to ask. Like it'd be rude or weird or it's just Jonathan being a dick again. Old newspaper. The bomb exploded just after dawn in front of the Dawson and Dawson Munitions Factory, the largest employer in the district. The detonation smashed the windows of all the factories in North Southwark. It's a miracle only two people died in the attack, confirmed Chief Superintendent Alexander Brighton. Ooh, burnt letter in the trash. Miss Paxton, I recently heard that something, something Hampton's shelter for months and money or support of any kind. Without a positive answer from you, I may be... Duh, duh, duh. My boys always get what they uh, accepted no for an answer. Keep on refusing to answer me. Wet boot boys come. You and your sister. So they've been threatened by the wet boot boys? Lottie, tell me about the wet boot boys. I know they've threatened you. Edwina Cox wanted me to provide her with information about Mr. Hampton's resources. I refused. Is that not dangerous? Fuck them and their lies! They claim they protect the interests of the neighborhood, but they are just greedy parasites like all the rest. I respect your courage, Miss Paxton, and I hope life will never wear you down. Dr. Reed, <laughs> you know how to make a girl blush. I am glad you came to the docks, whatever your real reasons are. Still drunk at this hour of night? Leave me alone, damn it. Where have you been? Answer me! Spare me the Good Samaritan Act! Piss off! Mother's looking at you from heaven, Giselle. Have you no one else to care for? Leave me be! Giselle, I know you sleep at Sean Hampton's shelter. What can you tell me about him? He provided a roof for me and my sister. I am grateful, of course. But he gives me the creeps. Why is that? He's always sad. Like he's about to cry. He's always asking us to get closer to God, to give ourselves to the Lord. Mm, creepy. 
Giselle, tell me about the death of your mother. After our father died, mother worked so hard she made herself sick. We spent all the money we had on useless drugs and doctors. It was hell. Hell? What do you mean? The three of us were exhausted and desperate. And when I'm desperate, I tend to get angry. And I'm hard to live with. Lottie said I killed Mother. You should talk to your sister. Whatever happened when your mother died, the truth lies somewhere between your two versions. I don't want to talk about that. It was years ago. We Paxton sisters are tough. We don't apologize. So this is where we can burn the posters. Where they belong. Also, I noticed on the way over here that Ichabod Throgmorton seems to have come here. I'm afraid your posters were destroyed. It cost me good money to print those posters. Such a pity people don't take the vampire menace seriously. Did you really think the posters would be useful? See the sad saint of the East End? How a single man can help so many people? I consider myself the discreet protector of these men and women. Tell me, Ichabod, why do you consider yourself the protector of Sean Hampton's shelter? He is a truly inspiring example. Dedicated, pious. His shelter is open to all, whoever they are. Most admirable. Let's head over here. We've got two quests to do. We still need to do the main quest, find the sewer entrance, and also in just about the same area. I need to look for Giselle Paxton's thieves. Apparently they're right here on the shore, I think. Or just above the shore. Oh. Where does that go? It goes this way. Blood. Oh. Oh, further up. I'll follow that in a second. They have the same family as a dozen other people. Same picture. It's actually a pretty nice looking place. It's just that the wall's missing. Look at those beautiful loaves of bread. Hold on, we gotta get a zoom in on that. They look so fluffy. So well browned on the top. So low polygon too. Oh, there's a hideout. Looks like I've got the stuff to upgrade Milton's shotgun. I haven't been using guns very much at all, but I'm sure I'll need to at some point, and when I do, I'm gonna have so much ammo. So let's take it to level three. Gonna go from 296 damage to 360. Increase damage or decrease reloading time. Let's go with damage. Oh, also I noticed that I got a weapon at some point, maybe during a boss fight? And I guess I didn't notice because, I don't know, I have all the combat stuff going on maybe? I have a common pistol parabellum. A reliable semi-automatic pistol often used by German officers, able to fire three rounds in quick succession. So it does bursts, I guess. It doesn't seem very good though, to be honest. Um, so let's compare it to the revolver. This thing, this revolver is level three, this thing's level two. 
However, you can see, despite that, there's, I mean, even with that, there's still a huge difference in their damage. This does 82 per shot, this does 40. If we got it up to level 3, it would do 56. So it would be 56 compared to 82. Way less damage. I guess the advantage of it is that it fires faster, because you get burst fire. So maybe over, t like, maybe the DPS would be higher? But it would be more wasteful of rounds, and... I mean, the fire rate's actually slower. It's 5 instead of 10, so when you take that into consideration, it's not that much faster. Reload time's a bit quicker. The magazine holds 9, which is decent. It only does 5 stun per round. This is 15. Uh, granted, that's also partially upgraded, so I guess without the upgrade, it would do 10 stun. But still, I don't think it's good at all. So, interesting gun, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Got some enemies out on the street in the front of the house. Including a Holy Warrior. Let's pick the Holy Warrior Bleed. It's so satisfying. Oh, I really like the combat. Still wish it was a bit harder, though. I feel not overleveled, because I'm a reasonable level for the enemies, but just overpowered. So, killers should be in this area. Or not the killers, but the, the thieves of Giselle Paxton. Oh, hi. Sounded like they fired their gun and died at the exact same time. Whoa. Skulls down on the beach? Yep. Shotgun. Oh my Christ! He's dead! You're dead. You were talking while you were dead. Fascinating. Alright, building shotgun. Pretty good. Thanks, Milton. Ah, oh, you know what? I wonder if, if I'd killed Milton before buying it, would I have just gotten the shotgun? Did you get their whole store stock? I don't know. They might you might not, that might be too easy. Ooh, these are actually really high level, 18, 19. I'm trying to get in there. Let's wait for my ultimate to come back. Actually, let's not. I don't feel like waiting. Oh, God. 
Oh. Oh damn, they have a lot of stamina. So, can I get in here? No, it's a level transition. Well, I guess I'm going in here then. Is this the sewers that I need to go into for the main quest, or is this different sewers? I love that walking sound, or running sound. Listen to that, that deep, booming, reverberating cavernous, like, metal sound. Well, I guess it's not really reverb -y, actually. But it's still damn good sounding. It's locked. Jonathan, are you just pressing random buttons? That doesn't work. <laughs> okay. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Is this a puzzle? I didn't know this game had puzzles. Okay, so the barrels are stopping it. I'm guessing I need to get in there and break them or something? And I can teleport up there. Oh, I can actually stand in water. Oh, the ripples really don't look very good at all, do they? Oh well. Let's teleport up there. That gate should show properly now. Whoa. Who's that? I can't go up the stream. Who was that and where did they go? They teleported away before I could see them. I just saw their red thing for a second. Was that the person that was unknown before, or is that a different person? Sean, what exactly do you think I'm gonna find down here that's gonna convince me that you're fine? Is it this? Because what I'm seeing so far is not very convincing. This looks like a feeding lair.
I cannot enter. Hey, big boy. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Are we are we doing this, Jonathan? So learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. Okay. Jonathan has just suddenly decided we should definitely fight the big boy. Alright. Okay, here we go. Uh, 